Good morning, everyone. It's your girl, Pastor D. I just want to get on this morning, and I want us to pray for the kids today to go back to school. I want to pray for them. I want to lift them up. I want them to be covered in the blood. I want to pray for Greenville. Um, I want to pray for Anderson, South Carolina. I want to pray for Easley, Spotburg. I want to pray for the upstate schools because we went back to school today. And so it's been exciting for the kids this morning. They are hyped and they're ready to go. I think the principals, the teachers, everybody, they are ready for school today. And so we're going to pray and ask God to cover them and keep them while they're in school. So we're going to pray. Everybody bow your heads and y'all pray and agree with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray and I lift up all the schools in the upstate, Lord God. I pray, God, that you would just go to the schools today. And, Lord God, and that you would camp your angels of protection around the schools, Lord God. Camp your angels of protection around the schools, Lord God. I pray, God, that you would... Touch the teachers, touch the principals, touch all of your students today, Lord God. And Lord, just be with them, watch over and keep them, Lord God. And let no hurt, harm, or danger come before them. Say we serve notice on you. We rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus of anybody that even have a thought to go to these schools today and do some harm to these children. We rebuke you by, and we bind up the devil right now in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood right now. We plead the blood of Jesus. The blood still has this power. So Satan, you're a liar. And the Lord rebukes you right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for this prayer. We do give you praise today. And we honor you for us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you and you have a great day. We, we don't want to have fear. I, I'm, I just want to say this, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, shed it off. But we don't need to operate in fear. Amen. The Bible says, and I'm going to read it to you right quick, that <clears throat> he don't give us the spirit of fear. He gives us, it says in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, for for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I'm going to read that again. He said, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You go in, go in peace today and, and make sure you just cover your kids in prayer. Cover them in prayer every day, not just today, every day. Cover them in prayer, and you you get a sound mind with God. Let go and let God take care of our children. I love you. God bless you. You have a blessed day.